Dave Thackeray from Word and Mouth. And today we're going to talk about corporate storytelling. What I want to do is take five of the biggest SaaS companies, software as a service, cloud companies, subscription-based services, companies that have a reason to sell to you, more often than not, are all about enterprise sales. But I think the important thing here, start with Snowflake, is that we're selling to human beings. And more and more CIOs these days have got a very blended M-shaped approach to business. You know, they've got things in lots of different pies and they're not necessarily whole pure play geeks. So more than ever, we need to craft a narrative. We need to prepare a speech. We need to deliver a story with impact, with pathos, with gravitas, with ethos, logos, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you for too long because we've got five companies to look at. And this is almost going to be a bit of a... Um, you're going to see a writer's studio in action. So I'm going to take a quick look at the websites and I'm going to craft narratives for each of these five companies to give them a helping hand. You know, they're worth most of them dozens of billions of dollars or they've generated funding in similar realms. So let's get let's get stuck in. So the first company is Snowflake, all about data storage, I imagine. I'm just going to check back to my Excel spreadsheet. What are they in? They're a data platform. That's given me nothing. So let's start to nibble away at what exactly they are and figure it all out. So what your data cloud experience begins, one platform, many workloads, no data silos, storage. So clearly they're going to be talking straight away to the CTOs, the CIOs of this world, uh, the uh, heads of, of IT. But again, you don't really know, you can't really assume how much these guys know. And really, uh, your homepage needs to be set in the scene and um, empathizing and identifying the problems that you're key clients are currently experiencing so that you can empathize with them, you can address them. So I'm expecting case studies here. The more complicated your business is, the simpler it needs to be to understand. And I cannot drive home enough the importance of that statement. Keep it super simple. Right. Data Cloud, many workloads, no data silos. So straight away, uh, looking at it, they offer six different services. I presume they are pretty blended. Data engineering, data lane, data warehouse, data science, data applications, and data sharing. And presumably, they'll come in at various different ways. Okay, now, so I've got a bit of an understanding here because I am a geek. Um, I understand the whole thing about um, data warehousing and the fact, you know, APIs connecting all the dots, making sure that when you're dealing with complex applications, complex stacks, of technical applications. You need to make sure that the, the data has integrity, is secure, ultimately delivers the best possible user experience. And that's what it's all about. All of these things are all about helping you with confidence deliver the best possible experience to your customer that in turn will help them to make transactions seamlessly, frictionlessly, no matter how much data is underpinning your organization. So I'm imagining that this offer, um, and as I'll start scrolling down the screen, this offer is all going to be about the company. Snowflake are a big company, all about the companies who've got a lot of data. They're probably striving towards personalization or already offering personalization to a degree. A lot of stuff here. So they've got a summit, so I like this. So they're trying to smooth the way, right? Snowflake Summit 2021 data together now, although it's fairly sort of amorphous, not really clear exactly what that means. It's, it needs to be a lot more simple. Um, they're making strides towards simplification of the product, so that's great. And as we say before, we've got kind of six different parts. And I don't know whether this company is split out into divisions and you've got a head of data engineering, a head of data sharing, or whether data sharing is part of data applicant, who knows? I'm just gonna get to the bottom. We're gonna kind of start making some notes now. Great, so the podcast, they're really thirsty for this stuff. So I'm gonna create a notepad that's really sort of uh, engaged with their customer community. They're striving. I'd love to see some data behind this stuff to actually appreciate you know, how important, how impactful things like the podcast are. People listening to them, are they having guests on who are already customers or are they having thought leaders on associated, aligned with their business? Who knows? Let's have a just have a quick check out data differentiator, chief data and analytics officer at Anthem. Okay, yeah, so I think they've probably invited some of their clients or their caught in prospective clients. They're saying, come on our show, tell us what you want to know. 
what's it right so straight away okay great thing here and i'm so glad i clicked this link you're seeing straight away and they're doing pretty healthy you know they've got over the hump in the podcasting world if you get over 10 episodes you're doing really well they're on 29 this is great making your data delicious these these it's funny it feels to me like you've got whoever's in charge of the home page for snowflake and who's in charge of the podcasting section are two entirely different people with two different visions and attitudes. And the tone and voice is different. The style guide when applied to content is also different. These guys seem to know how to touch customers with information. Making your data delicious. Kraft Heinz, it's all about food. I like it, okay? Technical skills into commodities. It's still a little bit wordy. Um, I'm seeing here that we need to uh, have a simple single message that transcends everything else. And I'll go back onto the home page for a second. Just have a quick look. We go to the top because that's always where the elevator pitch sticks. Now, unfortunately, that's been taken over by this. I would assume on mobile, same rules. So you've got to scroll down to get to the the clincher. And it seems to me like where your data cloud experience begins, one platform, many workloads, no data silos, is the elevator pitch. So I'm going to go back to my notepad document now. Okay, right. So what are we going to work with this? So it's it's one platform. You've got many workloads. Hey, Manti! No data solos. So we're all about, uh, you've, got, uh, you've got big data. We've got a, uh, we've got the big, um, We've got big news for you. It's, it, we, work with me here. We've got big news for you. Um, this is all about, we're trying to make the big, we're trying to make the big, uh, we're trying to remove the big, remove big worries from your big data, right? Okay, so if you think about the CTO, the CTO is going to want to make their job easier. So we've talked a lot in the past about things like lean canvas. Everything that we do, whether you're selling D to C, B to C, B to B, B to C to B to B to B to C. Uh, you're all about making the end user's life easier so that they can focus on the tougher, thornier problems that haven't yet been solved. And this is where your job is. So we've got to think about what what are the what are the key what are the key challenges? And I've just realised, by the way, I was going to hit five today. I'm going to hit five over the course of probably five episodes. And I've done a little bit of a snowflake deep dive before, um, but that was just to sort of go at it from a web experience standpoint. This is very much about crafting a story around your business so that it's universally, universally understood. Um, so what are key challenges of the CTO? Terrible, terrible use of Google. COVID-19, security threats. Okay, so big one here. Big one, big one, big one. How can we? Security. So we need to get security right up there, don't we? Edge computing. Okay, so everything's so cloud brings loads of benefits. So you might be thinking, um, so lots of on currently, lots of on-prem activity. Let me explain that. Currently lots of um, major cybercrime concerns. How do we address this? Help. Um, case studies. Okay. Uh, okay, so what else? Did you see how easy this is? Just by uh, typing in a random, um, overly long search query, I'm already starting to surface some key concerns of our target audience, our customer segment. What else here? Data privacy and governance. Yeah, okay. Uh, containerization. I like that. Containerization in a nutshell is making sure that we can almost ring fence um, uh, applications that we do not own. So increasingly with cloud, uh, you're having to expand your realm to address security issues, to address integration issues. And so if we can, you might be um, familiar with things like virtual desktops, VMware. Um, if you can kind of put things in little sand pits and let them play happily, but they still talk to the main playground, which is all of your owned applications, then you've got no security concerns because they're happy 
happily playing these cloud apps, these SaaS applications, are playing in the sandpit. Um, they're offering all their value and all their worth to the main play area, so kids are still going to go and jump in the sandpit, but it's not part of the big, great slide complex in the middle of the, uh, the play area, and that slide complex with all the ladders and all the monkey bars and stuff, that's your on-prem, that's your locally serviced and served applications. So containerization is, is a major issue. How do we help? Secure it in cloud. Um, and also, uh, you know, what are, what are the things? So it's like business growth. Uh, how do I keep keeping the uh, keeping the CFO and the CFO and CEO happy? Uh, bottom line. So straight away, so we've got some really good ideas here. So if if we theorise that those are the three biggest challenges for the modern day CTO, that it's all about keeping our noses clean making sure that we can properly integrate all of these applications together, that there's almost like a, a plug and play. Uh, so we need from Snowflake, we need somebody. So one of the one of the biggest opportunities here is that we have, uh, you've got a uh, round the clock Snowflake uh, support, uh, including a a dedicated technical account manager. Wow. Wow. Imagine how cool that would be. I mean, if you know, peace of mind, you know, once you've installed this, you've got somebody who's got access to their containerized application working in cahoots with your on-prem tech stack all the time. You can always call on them if you've got an issue and they have an SLA that maybe is like 99.9% .9 uptime lots better than that um, but also they can respond to challenges within 10 to 15 minutes a support manager may fully understand your stack your local stack and how that plays with their containerized application the, the, the snowflake application imagine that amazing right so that's 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 a, a solution to one of your problems and we could go down the lean canvas route in fact i might do that next time take a look at the website get a rough gist as to what the product is that they supply so looking at what's coming next stripe obviously the payments infrastructure very spicy right now that's going to be an interesting one we might do a lean canvas around that let's see um cloud so uh lots of on-prem activity how do we juggle so how can we address that so we can um we can first uh work with you to identify the challenges and opportunities and then help you security right cloud security yeah, okay, so we've kind of laid this up, haven't we? So this is like a 1A, because we haven't addressed that in the how do we help section. So that is be available, reassurance challenge. So that's 1A, and then we've got two, three, four, because 1A is a little bit crunchy. Two, well, two, two and three, I guess. I'm going to integrate these. Work with you to identify the challenges and opportunities, then help you to lock it down with the flexibility to thrive. And that really addresses two and three, security and cloud. So locking it down is the containerization, but also it's focusing on the security elements. So if you want to make sure that everything about your system is totally robust, and let's face it, who doesn't, uh, then you're gonna wanna work with a trusted advisor. Snowflake will be teaming with technical genius to actually make sure that happens. And uh, four is business growth. So right, uh, uh, so our suite of data uh, services, uh, flexes to your business. Right, so what do I mean by that? So instead of hitting you with six things, which I mean, fine, yeah, do it by all means. Just notice there is absolutely nothing here, nothing here apart from like an afterthought at the bottom in terms of case study. There's nothing that speaks to these four elements of how we can help you best. Snowflake support, 1A, that's your sort of uh, top layer. Uh, two and three, which is your security and your cloud. So cloud is how do you 
if you're not already working in the cloud, how do you move your operations partly into the cloud, which is great for speed and efficiency? Uh, and how do you do that with confidence? So it might be that you have a dev environment up there so that you can test things, burst proof, make sure that everything is fine, uh, do all your BHAT testing before you move into that uh, full-time world of uh, partly on cloud, partly local. Or you might just want to go hell for leather and just take the whole thing into cloud. And I'm sure Snowflake can help you with that. I'm going to finish off here because I think there's one thing that Snowflake really hasn't jumped into here. It's, it's, it's the leader. It's the most funded, the best bankrolled cloud service provider, according to, um, I don't know, one of the financial services uh, websites. So with that in mind, you need to be leading the pack. If you're the leader in this industry, you need to not only be selling yourselves, but you need to be selling the merits of cloud. And that kind of speaks to 1A. So you work with us on um, making sure that your data farm is flourishing. But then we're going to not only support you to make sure that that happens 100% of the time and that your business grows, but also we're going to continuously educate you with the merits of cloud. And that's in your lean canvas. It's like if you're the leading brand and you are heavily subsidized by no, no end of funders. I don't know whether these guys are publicly traded, one for the future. But this is part of the Lean Canvas. It's like, okay, you've got an obligation as the leader in this industry to not only be selling your services, but also taking the industry forward. I think we've kind of covered a lot of ground here today with Snowflake, and I'm really, really glad that you've joined me, and uh, thank you for sharing your 16 minutes and 40 seconds with me. Over and out, Dave Thackeray. You can catch me on Twitter, Dave Thackeray, or join and connect with me on LinkedIn, and also, um, yeah, hang out. And if there's any companies that you want to find out a little bit more about how to tell a story, then jump in, and I'll do a chase down next time. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.